Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Today we are going to try and land on the moon, but before we do that, let's upgrade our research and development building. That's going to cost us 450000 We are going to do that. And now, when we click back on there, we have the option of buying this tech tree now, but we don't have the points for it. And this one as well, it boosted up to 500 right? So yeah, we, can, we can't do this row, but we can do these next two rows, so that's good. We do have 120 points though, so I'm going to buy this thing and the reason for that is because we get a docking port now hopefully that means we can actually like clip things together especially while it's in space if not then i've just made a terrible mistake here but we're gonna unlock this so let's head on over to the vab and put a rocket together we can also upgrade one of our other buildings because we still have 1.4 million saved up here and i think we can upgrade our launch pad. That's going to allow us to have unlimited size and weight. So let's just get that out of the way. We have no more upgrades on that. And we can still upgrade this thing. That's going to be 845. So we'll have like 200,000 to play with on a rocket here. So let's do that as well. We have 290 left over. Well, hopefully this is going to allow us to get to the moon and land on it. We do have a lander right here. I don't know if the legs are going to be long enough because we're barely clearing the engines. So we might not be able to land. I don't really know. It kind of worked out on the landing pad here, but that was also just us standing stationary. We weren't moving downward. We're not going to have that force of hitting the ground. So that might be okay it might not we'll kind of have to wait and see but as far as the rocket goes we kind of have the same thing that we just had on the flyby so the only thing that might have changed is the size of the rockets here we have uh, five of these tanks now and i switched two of the engines to the ones that focus on thrust instead of the ones that can gimbal so two of them are set to that those are going to be dropped first and then we're going to have gimbally engines the rest of the way into orbit uh, we also have two center stage rockets here. This one on the bottom, that's three tanks big, is going to be running the entire time. And then we have a little engine on two tanks that also has a docking port on it, which I don't know if that's going to stay stable while we are uh, taking off here. So that's going to be fun to see. We have two docks right there connected to each other. So if our rocket falls apart right now, then that isn't going to work and we have to reset this a little bit. But yeah, other than that, let's try and land on the moon here. So we are full thrust. We are ready to go. Please have enough thrust to take off. We have just enough. All right, good. So let's also set our camera on to this so that we're not staring at the middle of the rocket here. Actually, nope, that's that's actually worse than what I wanted it to. Let's, uh, let's go back to the center of the rocket. And as long as we get to about 40,000 meters, we should be good. I cut those engines a little too early, but they ran out of fuel immediately, so that's fine. It didn't come back to bite us too much here. And that's actually kind of cool. They went up and came right back down. We are, however, not climbing anymore, so that's a little concerning. Uh, we don't have enough thrust to get out of the, the atmosphere here, and we are very quickly approaching our apex. 
So we need to start churning and hoping that we can keep climbing here. Um, that's still going down. We are not high enough in the atmosphere to really do anything here. Ugh, okay. So maybe I change out all the ones on the side here to the thruster variant uh, engines instead of the gimbal ones and just leave the middle one gimbally. But oh, wait, hold on. We're climbing on speed again. That's, uh, that's good. That is good. We're turning our apex. That's also good. Okay. So, oh, I don't like that it keeps zooming me way out here. But, uh, yeah, that's good. We're gonna hopefully be able to get into an orbit. We just have to be really careful here to not make a mistake. But, uh, if we can get into orbit, which we should, we are pretty much good to go. Also, this thing didn't fall apart like I thought it would, being held together with the two docking ports, so that's a good sign. Well, we actually got into orbit, so that's great. We now have to set up a maneuver to intersect the moon, which is not great, because uh, we're going this way and the moon's way over there, so if I start burning now, we might be able to connect to it pretty quickly. We'll kind of have to see, but uh, one of the things I forgot to mention is since this has a docking port on it, the plan, unless we use all the fuel in this stage, is to land on the moon with this and then redock with this stage and transfer all of our fuel that we have left over, because I don't think we're going to use all of it to land and take off, back into this thing and use this stage to get back to Kerbin. Now, I don't know if that's actually going to work because we don't have RCS, so we're going to be relying on trying to use our thrusters, which... Now, thinking about it is not great because we're going to be thrusting from behind, so we can't go toward the rocket. So, yeah, this is probably not going to work the way that I was thinking. I should have left the docking port on the front of our, our craft here, like I had at the beginning of our build, but I decided to change it to the backside, which I'm now realizing was a mistake, most likely. But only time is going to tell here, so let's start messing with maneuvers and seeing if we can get anything that's going to connect with the moon. I also need to set that as a target real quick. Quick, so that's so the best maneuver I can get right now is this one over here So we have to orbit around and burn on that side of Kerbin and we're going to be burning for three minutes straight so Hopefully we have enough fuel for that. It would be red. I believe if we didn't so that's a good thing uh, I also need to be careful with our electric charge because once that runs out We can't use our our SAS thing anymore that keeps us locked in our rotation So we might honestly run out of power before we get to this point because the engine that we have right now doesn't give us electrical charge so this could be a scrub mission already just because of the the kind of scuff launch that we had and uh yeah running low on power which is something that i need to i guess maybe throw a bunch of batteries on our spacecraft moving forward because we are running out of power very quickly so uh i'm gonna warp to this side of the planet and see i'm gonna go here just in case this is too close already let's go there and we need to be burning for three minutes, like I said, before we get to that point. So hopefully being there is not too close already. We got 10 minutes, 9 minutes, 8, 7, 6, 5. Ugh, we're kind of close. Okay, we got a minute and a half before we have to start burning. So we'll see if this actually works. We didn't use any power, so that's also good. We are still locked on our maneuver, so that's also good. Anyways, we're going to hopefully get to the moon here in a second, unless we don't have the fuel or unless we just somehow mess up this maneuver here that we have set for ourselves. Well, it looks like we're going to do at least another flyby here. I want to see if we can throw a maneuver in here to get us into orbit around the moon, man. So that looked good. Yeah, that looks like what we need to do, although it's going to be pretty costly. Can I, can I get this to do that a little more friendlier to our fuel situation? would be the great thing here. So I'm going to try that. That is going to be burned in 45 minutes. We do have the fuel for it, apparently. It's only going to cost us 37 seconds to do, but we are dangerously low on our electrical charge here. So I'm going to try and spin us to the point where we need to be, and hopefully in that time frame of the little window that we're going to have, we can try and actually get ourselves into an orbit of the moon and we can probably land. The whole extra fuel tank that I put on this thing with the docking port is completely pointless at this point because we're not going to have the fuel once we're done here. We're going to have to burn a lot of it to get into orbit and hopefully with the fuel on our lander and the weight of our lander, we're going to have enough to get back off of the moon 
and back to Kerbin. Or we are about to strand Jebediah Kerbin on the moon for the next little while. So we'll see what happens here. All right, well, here we go. Hopefully our thrust is enough to get us there. We are draining power again just slightly. That should be fine. And it's looking like we are going to be able to do this. I do need to keep rotating ourselves on our maneuver here because we don't have that thing unlocked just yet still. And come on, snap into orbit, please. We have four power left. Come on, before we run out of power, man. Ugh, this is going to be bad. It's going to be real close. Come on. There we go. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we can lose the maneuver. We are in orbit. We are in a very high orbit, which is not good. We are also out of power, so our SAS really doesn't even matter anymore. Well, since we have so much fuel left over, we might as well throw ourselves into a landing trajectory here on the moon because realistically, we're not gonna be able to reconnect with this rocket, right? I made a little bit of an error by having the docking port on the thruster side. Didn't even think about that while I was putting it together. We have no way of pushing ourselves backwards and connecting to the fuel tank here. The fuel tank is also going to be spinning like it is right now. So trying to actually connect to it really probably is not going to happen regardless. So I'm going to try and spin ourselves around until we are in a retrograde. And then we are going to burn until we have some sort of connection here. I also just want to very quickly just double check here and make sure if I burn, we are going to impact the moon. We are indeed good. Okay. I didn't want to accidentally get thrown into space by breaking ourselves out of the orbit of the moon here. But uh, yeah, we have a whole lot of fuel left in this rocket. It's going to take me a minute to spin around to the point where we can start burning, but we should be landing on the moon here shortly, or at least attempting to land on the moon here shortly. I don't know if it's going to go well because we don't have SAS anymore. So uh, trying to land and fight our our angle here on the, the landing is gonna be a little little weird for me to do. All right, so we should be landing inside of this crater in just a minute, unless we're too heavy, in which case we're probably going to explode on impact, but uh, we need to separate our docking ports, so let's disconnect them. So how do I do that? Undock, there we go. And now that's going to crash on the moon. It had a little bit more fuel in it, but it should be fine. Let's uh, make sure that our engines are disabled. Let's enable them. There we go. I don't like that there's such little fuel in them. Why is that? Um, hello? This should be a full tank of fuel. It is not. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, that's... That's bad. That's really bad. That should not have been happening. That should be full. These guys are full. And this guy is not. I wonder if it was pulling the fuel out of this even though I didn't have a fuel line connected to it that's 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 real bad <laughs> that's real real bad you know what before we actually strand Jeb here on the moon I'm gonna reload a save and see if we can pull the fuel off of that rocket well I didn't realize our quick save was this far back that was my bad but uh hopefully we can still do this it shouldn't be too big of an issue I'm just gonna do all the same things I just did and make sure that I actually send the fuel back I might as well do that now actually so yeah, we have a little bit of fuel in there. We have 500 or 59 fuel in this. Why is this fueling our rocket on the bottom there? It doesn't have an option to cross feed. Does it? I don't, oh, I do disable cross feed. Oh no. Okay, how much fuel do I have in this thing then? We've got 100 in there. We've got 50 in here. Okay, well. Man, I, I wish I had noticed that earlier because no matter what we do now, I have a feeling this guy's going to get stuck on the moon regardless because I don't have the fuel to get up and then go back to Kerbin. There's no way we're going to do that in like 50 fuel. Well, we're landing in a crater, so how do I get the fuel from this rocket into the other one? I don't do that apparently. How do I get you to go into this one? I need you to go back over here, I guess, and re-enable cross-feeding. And then can I move the fuel from this rocket to that rocket? I can't drag it i can't do that um ooh, this is not good i might have just set us back for no reason it's looking that way that's not how you do it can i do it from here oh there it is okay cool let me enable those guys we want to uh remove from these guys and remove from that guy and that's going to bump us up to what is it exactly a hundred just about a hundred okay mm, that is not good Let's uh let's turn these guys off. Turn that one off. 
Why is this one still full? Oh, okay. Yeah, we still have more from this tank over here. I didn't realize that. Okay, well, that was a little weird. We had to keep bouncing between the two tanks here to get it to fill up these ones completely, or this one completely, but uh, that's good. We have a full tank. Our chances are looking somewhat decent. If we can actually get back, that would be good. Uh, we can now separate this because there's no reason to have it connected anymore. We're not going to use it. So undock from this, please. And let's see how we're doing here. We have a few minutes on our hands. So let's re-enable our engines so that way we can start moving right away. I want to make sure our thrust is disabled. And let's enable our engines. Good. Now that these engines are alone, does it tell us if it's going to give us any electrical charge now? It is still not there. Okay, so these ones probably just don't give us any charge. That's my bad. I need to pay attention to that moving forward. I'm going to start burning a little early because we need to stop our forward momentum here or we're just going to blow up when we land. So I'm going to very carefully try and make sure that we're not moving sideways anymore. And is there any good way for me to see how to do that? Probably not, right? Just visually, I guess. So these guys are using a little bit of fuel. Uh, I wish they were a little more efficient here. That is not looking good. Uh, it's not a whole lot of fuel usage, but it is a little bit nonetheless. If I could, if I could stop our forward momentum quick. Oh, these are going very fast. Ooh, okay. You know what? If we can at least land and not kill Jeb, I'll take it as a victory. He's going to be stranded. But at least we can get back to him. We just have to redesign our rocket. We have to do a couple more things. We're not going to get any science from this mission because uh, we don't have an antenna. And I don't think we're going to get that much if we do send it. So uh, we need to stop our momentum in general here. We're going 300 meters a second still. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, kill engine. We're moving 80 meters a second. These guys are able to withstand, I want to say, 10 meters a second. So as long as we can do that, we should be good. Our thruster over there just impacted. We don't have the fuel to get back for sure. And I'm glad that I reset because we wouldn't have the fuel to land, right? We, we had like a smidge of fuel and we just used a lot of it to land here. So uh, worst case scenario, like I said, this guy's going to be stranded. But I'd rather him be stranded than us not be able to land right now. So if we can very gingerly land here, that would be ideal. I have to keep turning these on and off just so that we can keep straight. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. We're good. No, we're good. This is totally planned. This is totally planned. All right. Well, uh, that was not the picturesque landing that we were hoping for. This entire mission from the launch to the landing here has been just completely scuffed up. We almost didn't have enough thrust to get out of the atmosphere on Kerbal. And now we landed sideways and rolled down the hill a little bit before coming to rest. So I will take it. We didn't blow up. I'm happy about that. Let's start doing some science. We're even going to get Jeb out of this thing and do some uh, planting of a flag. Can I, hmm, how much fuel do we have left? We have 26 liters or gallon, liters, right? It's probably liters. I don't think we're going to be able to flip ourselves onto our landing legs. So this is probably the best we're going to get. And are we even going to be able to do these? We can. Okay, good. Oh, that's 100 science too. Oh, yeah, great. I'm not going to be able to take that back with us. How much are we going to get for the mystery goo? We are going to get uh, 40. Okay, good. Let's do the atmospheric thing. That's going to be 48. And this is going to be 32. Wow, this would have been such a good science run if I was actually able to get back to Kerbin with all this stuff. We can at least try and transfer the data to get some science from this run, but it's not going to be very good. I also want to do a crew report for this guy. That's 20 science. Let's get him out. And let's uh, let go. We want to do an EVA report so that we get a little bit more. That is going to give us 32 science. And let's see. We might as well plop a flag down as well, just so we know where we need to re-land somebody else. So let's see if we get any science from this stuff. We don't get anything because we don't have an antenna on our spacecraft. That kind of stinks. I don't know how likely it is that we're actually going to be able to land back up here and pick this guy up. So Jeb might be stranded for the remainder of the playthrough. We'll kind of see. I'm going to try and build a lander to try and get him out of here. 
it's not too bad. It's not like we landed him some wonky place on the moon. It's pretty much the equator, so we should be able to get kind of close to him nonetheless. Alrighty, well, there's not much else we can do from the surface of the moon here, so what I'm going to do real quick before we wrap up today's episode is relaunch this rocket. We're going to leave Jeb here stranded. We'll probably mount a rescue mission next episode, and we're going to be relaunching that same exact rocket with some slight changes here. So I'm going to throw probably another four solid boosters on it, and we also want to cut out the docking ports because those are no longer going to be required. Let's uh, get rid of those guys. We're also going to be removing the landing portion of the capsule here because there's no reason for that anymore. And let's see, we're going to do a science run. So I want to bring back this section of the machine or the, the rocket here because we have the little box in there. And with that box, it's going to allow us to pull all the science out of this thing and store it in there. So that way we're not re-entering the atmosphere with some extra weight there. So hopefully this all works out. Can I just throw our science guy in here or is it going to want us to have an actual pilot it's gonna have valentina in there who's our pilot we can throw him in there but i don't know if that's good i might have to have her in there as well yeah i'm just gonna try and take both of them with us on this trip so to do that we either have to throw another thing on top so this is pretty much how we had the first mundane mission but this time, this is hopefully going to get into orbit around the moon. So hopefully the extra thrusters are enough to get us up and out this time around. And we don't start losing speed. That would be ideal. Already, it looks like we're going faster than we were previously. So I'll take that as a win. So far, this is going a lot smoother. So let's decouple this. So that way we have our parachute exposed. Good. And yeah, we're still on our main rocket. We haven't had to separate that just yet. We got into orbit fairly straightforward and we have that fuel and then this fuel as well. But it's looking like we have more fuel than we actually need because we have a maneuver coming up in five hours or actually 30 minutes, sorry, that is going to allow us to get into a, a portion of the moon again and then we can burn and try and uh, get into an orbit around the moon and then gather up some science and hopefully make it on back to Kerbin. So let's see if that actually happens. Hopefully I can get this done in one go and not strand two more of our astronauts today. Well, we're in orbit around the moon, so I just want to very quickly see where exactly we are considered at right now. We are considered high over the moon. So I want to pull our orbit down because right now we're about 120,000 and a million, just about almost 2 million. So real quickly, I want to go back to the Space Center this should be fine. I don't think anything's going to happen to our, our rocket there. And I want to jump on into this building, I believe. And then from there, we want to go to over... Actually, no, this is not the right building. Hold on. One second. Wrong building. Was it our R&D building? It was. Okay. So we want to go to Kerbin. We want to go to the moon. And does this tell us how high up into the orbit that we have to be to consider to be considered low because if we can try and cheese it like that that would be great but i don't see anything so yeah let's try and go a little bit lower because we already have a bunch of of high moon stuff right because of the flybys and stuff that we've done so let's try and pull our orbit down to about sixty thousand give or take, and then do a science run on that and then see if that's going to give us more science instead of the the thing that we're going to get right now if we stick with the high. Well, we're currently 52,000 and 46,000 on our orbit here. So let's see if this is considered low orbit now and not high. So uh, conduct a material study. We are near. Okay, that's exactly what we want. So we're going to get 75 science from that. Let's also open up our other stuff. I need to make our guy go on an EVA as well real quick because we have a contract running right now that I grabbed in between episodes and never got completed to have one of our guys go on to a spacewalk around the moon and then we need to bring a orbiting spacecraft back from the moon. So we're going to have that thing done here in just a second as well, which is good. Uh, we want to have this guy do an EVA report while he's out here. He's going to gather up set, uh, 24 science. Good. Anyways, I'm going to do all the other science real quick as well. And then we need to transfer everything to the little box that's in here. And hopefully this whole thing survives re-entry. So I need to start messing with some maneuvers to try and get us back over there because right now we are quite a ways out. We can do a little flyby of, of Jeb here. That's going to throw us into... What is that? That is probably either Minmus 
or it's going to just chuck us out into the, or the, the solar system here, which is not what we want to do. All right, well, we were able to get ourselves out into a Kerbal orbit again. It is very, very far out there, though. We got 17 million, 12 million. We should hopefully have the fuel for this. If I'm able to transfer the fuel from this rocket to that rocket, because the engine's not going to give us electrical charge, and it's kind of not good, right? That's something that we don't want to have happen. So I'm going to try and fiddle with this unless I can't transfer the fuel, which that's going to kind of stink. And we need to do this. So let's see. We want... I wish I can rotate my camera horizontally here. That's not doing us any favors. Can I go back to here and not have the camera so wonky? I guess not. Never mind. But anyways, we want these tanks to... Oh, I can move the windows. Oh, yes. That's amazing. Okay. So we want this guy, we want this guy, we want to drain out of here. And hopefully that's going to be good, right? We are going to be carrying the extra weight, but I'd rather use that engine instead of the little the little tiny engine that we have on there. It, it's just not going to give us to charge, and I'd rather have my SAS so that we're still able to use our maneuvers and stuff. And can I just do this? There we go. Let's do that as well. I... How do I lock the fuel tanks so that these guys aren't draining? Because that's happening now. That's not what I want. Anyways, whatever. We're going to be fiddling with the gas here for a little bit. So give me a minute and we should be good to go. Okay, we are finally done moving all the fuel around here. So that's great for us. And now, with this fuel tank filled up again, we should be able to get back to Kerbin. No issues here. Well, we made it back. So let's start separating everything here. So that's the main thruster. Let's get rid of our secondary thing as well as the science thing. And there goes that. We have a heat shield. Good. We have a parachute shoot and drag shoots so we should be able to land relatively easily here since this is the same module effectively that we had on our first flyby of the moon here so uh, when we land we are going to have a whole bunch of science available to us so that's going to be very nice here as well so let's just speed up time here and land nonetheless we got a whopping 244 science from that run that's awesome we only made 89 percent of our money back from our rocket so that's actually fairly good i figured that would be a lot lower than that but uh there we go we got xp for these guys as well anyways let's spend that science so we want to grab something that's going to allow us to get over there a little more efficiently. So heavy rocketry is going to give us bigger engines and bigger solid boosters. So let's do that. That then unlock this guy, which is going to give us another big engine, a fuel tank with an engine already attached to it. Is that another solid booster? No, it says a liquid fuel booster. Okay, well, we haven't used that one yet. And then we have another solid booster as well. So we could do that. We have the points for it. I want to very quickly look through these, though, and see if we get RCS. That's RCS stuff. I need a passenger module, man, is what I need, which I'm guessing is going to be this guy. Yeah, that's the bigger one. Those are all passenger things as well. A little bit bigger landing thing we got a lander there so let's unlock this that's 90 points and then we are only 30 points short from being able to unlock this guy which has three separate modules for people and then a little bit bigger service bay so that we can shove the science stuff in there so that's something that we will unlock next episode before we try and mount that rescue mission I'm going to do a couple more contracts, gather up the 30 science that we need, and then unlock this thing so that we can build out a rocket and go save Jeb next episode. But anyways, that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed as always, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.